Welcome to the home screen of your Good Lord platform. From here, this is really your control center. You can view the deals that you currently have in the pipeline, as well as start a deal, manage the agents on your platform, and also view your deal stats. To get started, we're going to click Start Deal. Here, you can search properties or landlords, or add a landlord if they haven't already been added to the system. Simply type in the landlord's details into the boxes provided. You can type in the landlord's bank details, which would be used in let-only deals to set up a standing order for the tenants. If you send out an offer letter for the tenancy to the landlords, but would prefer to sign it on the landlord's behalf, you can switch this toggle to yes, otherwise just enter the landlord's email address. Now your landlord's been added to the platform. You can add multiple properties to the landlord by clicking add a property. You can also go back in and edit the landlord's details. Type the relevant details into the fields provided. If you let the tenant see room by room, you can switch the toggle to yes for the tenancy options. This will enable you to create different tenancy terms for each room if you require it. At this stage, you can also upload the EPC and gas certificate. Don't worry if you don't have these available when you're creating the tenancy, you can go back in and add them later. Now that the property has been added to the platform, you can create a tenancy. Just click Create New Tenancy to get started. You can just enter the terms of the agreement into these boxes provided. You'll notice that the deposit amount has been automatically calculated. In this case it was six weeks, but we can adjust that to your company's preferences. The initial payment amount is any monies that you take up front at the beginning of the tenancy application process. As you can see, a payment schedule is automatically calculated. You can adjust the payment schedule by clicking on the adjust button and changing the values entered into each box. Well here, by entering the value that was in the payment schedule, I'm setting the final payment to zero. You can select the contracts and the administrator in this section. If you don't want to send out a tenancy guide, you can just leave it to no tenancy guide. The coding we put in your contracts enables you to select the services that would be included or excluded in the rent, and these will pull through dynamically onto each contract. If you have any special conditions regarding parking or renewal options, you can enter them here and they will pull through onto the contracts. Similarly, if you have any additional clauses you'd like to add into the contract, you could add them here. If the tenancy needs a break clause, simply switch this toggle to yes and enter the terms of the break clause into the notice period boxes. You can see a summary of what the break clause would say in the contract just below. If you take any admin fees, you can enter these values here. These will be taken with the move-in monies.
If you are using good old referencing, leave this toggle to yes and that will push through the tenant's references to our referencing team system. Otherwise, switch the toggle to no. We recommend leaving the um, selection on tenants and guarantors, as the fee for guarantors will only be applied if a guarantor is used. If you want to use our rent protection policy, you can also select it here. To switch the agent to sign the tenancy agreement on behalf of the landlord, switch this toggle to yes. Similarly, if you prefer to execute the tenancy agreement at a later date, you can use this option too. If you want to send out an offer letter, you can switch this toggle to yes, and you can select the type of offer letter you'd like to send out. Once you've created the tenancy, you'll be taken to the main page of the tenancy. From here you can see all aspects of the tenancy that you've set up. You can also add the tenants from here. Just type in their details into the boxes provided. If someone other than the tenant is going to be paying the deposit, you can select yes to relevant person paying the deposit. Similarly, if you already know that a guarantor will be required for this tenant, you can set yes here. If the tenant is renewing and does not require referencing, set that section to yes as well. Once you add the tenant, they will appear on the main page of the tenancy. From the tenant's profile, you can view and edit their information and also see how the initial payment their references and their move-in monies is set up. If you click the more button just next to initial payment status, you can see how much you have set for the tenant to pay. You can do the same for the move-in monies. If you want to change any of this, don't worry, you can. All you need to do is go into edit tenancy. To go back into the main page of the tenancy, just click the back button at the top of the page. We recommend before clicking completed adding tenants that you check the terms of the tenancy agreement and the tenancy guide just to make sure that you're happy with the documents. When you're ready, click Completed Adding Tenants. This will automatically send an email to the tenants asking them to pay the initial payment and sign the tenancy guide. As you can see, their status has changed to awaiting sign up. From here, you just need to wait for the tenants to sign up and pay their initial payment. This is the email that they will have received. Once the tenants have signed up, they'll be asked to submit their references. We've included a link to our support page in case they need any help with this. If they do have any questions regarding completing the reference form, our support team is always more than happy to help.
Once the tenant submits their references, two things will happen. Firstly, you'll receive an email just notifying that they have submitted those references. The app itself will also update, so now you can see that the tenant stage has changed to supplied references. From the tenant's profile, you'll also be able to see that the initial payment has been paid and the stage that the references are at. You can view the documents that have been submitted by the tenant by clicking on each respective button. The email that you will have received regarding the tenant's references will enable you to go into the platform and view those references that were submitted. From this page, you can also click Requires Guarantor. You can also do this through the platform by going onto the tenant's profile, clicking on Referencing Actions, and then Requires Guarantor. Clicking this button will automatically send an email to the tenants requesting that they enter their guarantor's contact details. As soon as they have submitted those, the guarantor will receive an email requesting that they submit their references. As you can see on the main page of the tenancy, the tenant's profile has changed to say guarantor stage awaiting tenant. This is the email that the tenant will have received, asking for them to enter their guarantor's details. Once the tenant submits their guarantor's contact details, you will receive an email notification. But you will also see on the platform that the tenant's profile has updated as you can see here, the requested box is now ticked and you can view the, the guarantor's contact details. You can edit the guarantor's details as well. For example, here I'm updating the email address. You can then also resend any emails that have gone out. This is the email that the guarantor will have received. All they need to do is follow the link and enter their details. The second page of the form contains the guarantor agreement and a draft of the tenancy agreement. 
the guarantors are able to view and download these documents before signing. Once the guarantors have signed the guarantor agreement, you will receive an email notification and the app will be updated. If you would like to request an alternate guarantor, click on Referencing Actions. You'll have the option here, otherwise you can confirm the references by clicking References Completed. As you can see, the Tenant Stage and Guarantor Stage have changed to Confirmed References. If you are sending an offer letter to the landlord, you can view the draft of the offer letter and also click Send Offer to Landlord to send it out. This is the email that the landlord will receive. As with all of the documents that have been signed through the platform, if you go onto the main page of the tenancy, you'll be able to view that document. You'll also see that the Create Tenancy Agreement button has now appeared. If at this stage you want to change the settings of the tenancy, simply click into Edit Tenancy and you can adjust whatever you'd like. When you're ready, click Create Tenancy Agreement. If you haven't uploaded the EPC or gas certificate, you'll get a notification and you can go into Edit Property to do that now. Once you click that button, an email will automatically go out to the tenants asking them to review and sign the tenancy agreement and if they have any move-in monies to pay, to also pay those. All they need to do is log into their profile, choose how they'd like to pay. If they select to pay by bank transfer, you'll notice that the card fees have disappeared. The tenants can sign the contract in the boxes provided, either drawing or typing their signature. If they try to sign without reading the document, they will have a notification asking them to read the document and will not be able to progress without first having read the document. Once the tenants have signed, you will also get an email notifying you that they have signed and how they've chosen to pay. You will also receive another email asking you to go in and sign the agreement if you've set it for the agent to sign, otherwise the landlord will sign the agreement. You can either follow the link in the email or log into the platform as usual.
From the home page of the platform, you'll notice that the tenancy has now moved into the completed section. You can go back in and review any of the documents, and also check up on the move-in money status. Congratulations, you've completed a deal on Goodlord.